previously on What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh! <gasps> Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? All right, guys. Welcome, prideful nerds. This is a weird way of me introducing the channel, isn't it? Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of like too busy in what the heck moment. Um, welcome back to Life is Strange. We are. Um, I'm actually planning on finishing this today. Um, I'm probably gonna break this up into two episodes. I know that episode five is the last episode. I know that for sure. Uh, I'm gonna try and finish it today. Um, I think I'm gonna break them up into two forty. I'm not. You know what? It's either gonna be broken up or it's gonna be one episode. I haven't finished figured it out yet. You guys will know because I've already uploaded it. So we're getting back into it. <laughs> Chloe's not here, I don't think. What? Where? Oh, the they did. So they got Victoria, and so me warning her didn't do anything. So what am I supposed to do? Is anybody out there? Please, help! 
Mm, I don't think. Let's try to detach that. <laughs> Oh, shut up. There's probably somebody there. Uh, She's trapped, of course. And right in front of me. Well, what is... Oh, it's a cell phone. God. I don't remember anything that happened. Oh, shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. Freaking... I, I still can't believe it was Jerry. I mean, I he was a little weird in the beginning, me. but... I mean, he was a little weird, you know? Uh... Victoria! Wake up! Wake up! Left foot, let's try to detach the left foot. Okay. Okay, well something has to work, right? Oh. I, I, I can't actually do that. Um, okay, let's try to detach that one. There we go. Good job, Max. I'm free. Almost. I was gonna say, you, it's just one foot, you know. I mean, let's pull the trolley. <gasps> we could rewind before they shot her, I bet. Uh, photo. Look at photo. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Yeah, no kidding. Um... I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Well, I mean, we pushed it, right? Oh, left mouse button to focus on the photo. Oh. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. I was going to say, there really isn't. Oh my gosh. There really isn't any other way we could do this. Whatsoever. This angle highlights your purity. See, the slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. What? Of vanity or posing, just pure expression. Okay. Christ, look at that perfect face. Okay. Hold that stare there. Stay still. Okay. I think you have a bit of an anger issue, dude. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Oh. Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. What? Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Very well. Along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room 
is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. Oh. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody oh. would be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. Stupid bitch! Oh. You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take oh. a shot. Oh. So are there are a couple new fit photos now. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, can I? Nah. We're gonna look at these. Oh. <clears throat> I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Let's do that. This might work. Please work. They gave that to me because apparently I suck. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Oh, yeah. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, 
Some Blackwell students carry their carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. What? Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. What the You heck? are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all 
those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. I can see why you're inst- Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation oh yeah that's what i believe max has creepy. taken what you kids call a selfie a dumb I'm word back. A wonderful photographic trip. right back where i started this insane that's week good. and nobody course, is going to hurt chloe know, ever the again portrait has been popular since the early 1800s your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression sorry i couldn't resist the point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Not capture a real visionary Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process. He was a real visionary. Not a hypocrite. Uh... What do you mean by that? I mean that he actually created something. He didn't just take pictures of models and pretend they were art. I'm not oh. sure I get the connection, but... Uh, yes, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Oh gosh, Mainly that because it gave the, the subjects back. clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max has clearly read more into them than I have. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. to change time. To San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the First, Arctic. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have right. to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. All right, let me get up. I hope I still love photography when this is done. This diary literally saved my life. I should be able to track down David's number from the school found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? 
It doesn't matter. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Kate. You always know the right thing to do. Kate's awesome, guys. At first I thought she was making pornos, but now I know the truth. You're not cool anymore. I'm gonna give Mr. you Mr. Jefferson? Photo. We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Oh. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me and Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Does he know that I know? Like, is he like part of the time traveling too? That'd be kind of cool. There's like more than one or something. I don't know. Oh, that didn't change. Okay. Why? What? Oh, they're in the dark room. What? Oh, Rachel. Plane? Pack West. Yes. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. On a plane. 
Oh. I hope I did oh. everything right this time. So what? Good work, David. David. Said so knew David was good in the end. So is this it? Well, sir. Is that the end? Are we done? <laughs> no, look. The the time thing is all screwed up. It's so weird to be in between realities. Yeah, so... Everything is out of focus and in the distance. So, we didn't fix everything. We can't stay here, right? Aw, oh, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. What? Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. When we were innocent. Almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? What the heck is going on? Um. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Cool. Um. Uh, are we just supposed the to look at this now? end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Cool. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful Sweet. day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. They are getting small, aren't they, buddy? Um, How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. He's not a bad guy. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. What the heck is going on? Like everything's getting all screwed up. Okay. Hey, bird. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. Heck and yeah. If skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long yeah, as I don't exactly. have to eat the caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. 
After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. <laughs> I better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. I like the principal. He's actually pretty cool. I thought he was a douche at first, but... Wowzer, Max. You did it. Don't say... Don't say Wowzer. I went from the dark room to this gallery. Exactly. I've been through so many realities in one week. That's a woman. Life is... Weird. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. All those art Please hipsters. For today. Oh, nosebleed. Are you okay? The we heck? Were you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Love the pins in your face, dude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh. oh come on. Please answer. Oh. Oh, the tornado. It's true. You saw the tornado. It's coming. What? Oh. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, like... can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my. Okay, let's think about this for five seconds, guys. If we saw the future, right, and we proved to Chloe that, you know, like our visions are true and everything, on the day of the tornado, when we saw it, wouldn't. If you had access to a car, wouldn't you drive out of the town? I mean, it's a tornado, guys, right? I mean, tornadoes, it's not like it's destroying the whole country, right? If, if she probably drove to the town to the south of Arcadia Bay, like to Tillamook or something, right? Uh, which is like an hour away or something like that. You, you, you would drive there, and you'd be fine. Uh, okay, I, I'm overthinking this. God, the tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. I don't think we can stop a tornado. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. There needs to be a way to stop this kind of art. What the heck? That is some creepy shit. Okay, let's go. That's a lady. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. How many times has she died so far? How much would you pay for that? Like, three times now? It's been a lot. Let's focus on the photo. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Dude, piss Sorry. off. Darn it, I was so close, too. Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Freaking Tell piss off, lady. Camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk lady. later? Thanks. I yeah. literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. No, especially the... We're not going back to this reality, right? Just punch him in the face, Max. Not right now. Oh, 
my god, how many more times is this gonna Call happen? You now. Oh my gosh, can I pick your brain for an hour? Thanks, but I I'm busy. Zen, Max, Zen. There's nobody here but you. Nobody. And four fucking idiots. Seriously, this is like... Why is this so hard to focus? These get harder and harder, guys. Do it. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my head. Yeah, I think we're screwing with that time way too what much. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. Yeah, I think we're screwing with it a little too what much. What am I doing to time? you're messing it up and I don't think you going further and further back is messing it up maybe that was like only such the previous a previous timeline was so perfect I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco simple so tear the photo sorry San Francisco Chloe comes first Now, what happens with Jefferson, though? I mean, is that still a thing? Probably. I mean, we, we busted him before we handed the photo, so... Oh, apparently not. What the heck? Oh. oh, I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. It the could transformation be. between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. All right, guys, we're going to leave it here. Um, well, we uh, this has been an interesting episode, guys. Um, we, uh, <clears throat> holy crap, a lot of crud. A lot of stuff, guys. Anyway, like and comment if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this series, um, I actually am thinking about playing uh, The Wolf Among Us. So if that is a game that you guys would like me to play, I have it. I played, like, the first, like, thing, but this was, like, over a year ago, so I don't really remember it too much, so I never beat the game. Um, so if you guys want me to play that, uh, let me know. Um, and, uh, yeah, the next episode should be it. I, I'm gonna make these, like, 40-minute long series because I'm trying to get this game out of the way. Uh, because we're just so close to finishing it, I just I'm just like racing for the finish line now. Uh, if you guys have been watching our videos for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, I would ask if you could. That way, whenever I upload, you guys get a notification. Anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next episode that I make. See ya. Whew, all right. I think we're. J I think I'm just gonna keep recording. Yeah. 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 Let's let, let's finish this.